Okay, hello and welcome to this week's Place Key webinar. First off, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to tune in. And I'd also like to give you a chance to join the Place Key community if you're not already a member. I will be placing a link in the chat portion of Zoom so you can go sign up if you would like. The Place Key community is a movement of organizations and individuals that prize access to data. Join over 8,000 members of data scientists and researchers who work together to develop amazing work like we have today. We'll have time for Q&A at the end of the presentation. So at any point during or after, feel free to add your questions to the Q&A chat box and I'll read through them at the end. Now I'd like to introduce today's presenter. Thomas is a PhD economist who spends his time developing models, consulting, and teaching analytics. He has worked across all six livable continents and consulted in over 30 countries. Outside of economics and analytics, he likes sports, especially the Boston Celtics, spending his time with his family and traveling. Okay, Thomas, take it away. Oh, thanks, Ryan. All right. Um... I'm gonna get started by going over the new way to download data in SafeGround. But I'm just gonna walk through the steps I took to get the results I did. But uh, I first did it using the command line, the Amazon, uh, the Amazon command line interface. And then I also did it using catalog.safegraph.com. Uh, but I think the new way that SafeGraph is offering data is it's awesome. So I'm just uh, I'm gonna so I go to safegraph.com forward slash shop and then I log in and I'm logging in with my university email to seven two nine four one. So what I did the second time around. Uh, doing the study is I I looked for restaurants just right here full service restaurants I wanted to download full service and limited service restaurants then I click clicked on choose data I added the core places and the uh, patterns data then I clicked on checkout um, and I choose my time period here January, I did it from January 2018 to April 2021. And then I am using it for myself there and check out. And it, it takes a little bit. This is a bigger, right? This is a big data set, uh, but yeah. Anyway, for those that uh, haven't used the new way to get safe graph data, I, it's really user friendly. All right, um, so I, I downloaded the monthly SafeGraph visits data for the full service and limited service restaurants. And then uh, I did it in R. What I did is I, uh, I'm using the FUR library and the bit 64. And I, uh, I bring in the, uh, Dot gz file right here that comes with every month and then I, I like to say save each month separately I know there's a, a little bit more efficient way of doing this um, right I did it for I did it since 2018 this code shows I did it from January 2020 to April 2021 and after I looked at each month I uh, I combine the files together by putting them all in one folder and they come out as CSVs this time instead of .gz files. Uh, and then this uh, combines them into a file called restaurants and then I save it as a CSV. And then the next step is I point Tableau, I pointed Tableau at it. Uh, oh, I went and got the vaccination rates first, right? Uh, so I'm connecting restaurant visits with vaccination rates. Uh, this is a look at the vaccination rates for the 50 states uh, for the percent of population 18 years and older that are vaccinated. Started going up 
in January and the leading state right now is Connecticut, followed by Rhode Island at 58%, Massachusetts at 58, New Mexico at 57, New Jersey at 56, Hawaii at 55. On the other end, Mississippi at 34%, Alabama at 36, Arkansas at 38, Wyoming at 40, and so forth, South Carolina at 40%. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, you know, I with Tableau, I think it, it's easy to visualize things. Um, what I did is I dragged the start month uh, over. And then I like to see how it changed. So I click this little play button to animate it. Right. For all of 2020, there was no vaccination for COVID. Then it started picking up in January, December, January, February, March, and April. And this is where we stand today. All right, uh, this is useful. The next step I took was to visualize the restaurant's data uh, from SafeGraph. This is a plot of the locations of the restaurants in the data set. And this is, uh, I, I don't think this is helpful right now. I was just looking at things, but this shows the sum of the visit counts by state. All right. Um, so my main point in doing this study was to just see whether uh, markets have overpriced the idea that there will be a large comeback to restaurants and that'll show up in uh, that'll show up in right financial markets and then economic data. Um, so I just looked at the correlation. Um, this is the correlation of the vaccination rate with average visits for each uh, place key ID. Um, the place key ID is a unique identifier for each physical location. Um, all right. Uh, right. So it looks like this. On this raw view, one might think, well, just this right raw correlation. Um, it's not a good fit, uh, right? The p value is statistically insignificant. Um, it's obviously more complex than this, but if you're looking just at connecting uh, increased vaccination rates with uh, more visits, it's not a real strong correlation across all states. Um, right? This one would say 0.53 times the vaccination rate. So, you know, right now we're around 35%. If we were to get to 75%, that 40% uh, increase. Um, this may say that, um, yeah, 20, the number of visits may go to from an average from an average expected of 254 to around 300, a little less than 300. Uh, so it's a less than a 10% increase. Obviously, uh, it matters by state. I, I thought this one was interesting. It um, shows the average visits by location against the vaccination rate for the percent of the population 18 plus. And I'm just going to animate it here and look back December 2020. This is what it's looked like. Anyway, the way I interpret that is to say, oh, I, I don't really know how I interpret that, but one way of interpreting that is to say, well, maybe it's just that uh, some, because the correlation's negative here, which would say that the higher the vaccination rate, the lower the average visits, and that, that doesn't make sense. Um, and I think it's just that, uh, some areas just choose to be le 
less vaccinated. Um, yeah. All right, and then I was curious what it looks like by state. So this each, each uh, color is a different state. This one is um, Alabama, for example. This one is, uh, this one is, I think it's Vermont. Nope, Vermont's down there. Um, not Missouri, it's Colorado, nope. All right, anyway. Uh, oh, no, oh, California is down there. Might be Mississippi. Yeah, this one's Mississippi. All right, so in every, in most states, it's somewhat positively upward sloping. Um, and I was curious what it would look like across time, across states. So that's what it looks like. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show right how I did it in uh, Tableau. So, I, in terms of whoops, in terms of how I did it, I just uh, dragged. I'm going to drag over median visits. Define it as a dimension the vaccination rate and define it as a dimension and have each color be a state. And then uh, I'm only gonna look, I'm gonna drag over the months. And I'm only gonna look for 2021 since vaccinations only really got started then. And then to add a line for each state, let's see, I'm gonna flip these around, flip the axes, so there we go. Vaccination rate goes up, median visits go up when looking at it by each across the different states. All right, yeah. Um, and what what does that mean? So, uh, when I'm looking at uh, the percent of the population that's 18 plus, it's around 257 million. And we're around 35 percent right now. And then the Census Bureau monthly numbers. I know these numbers are low. Right? The Census Bureau doesn't capture everything. Uh, but they report around 720 billion on an annual basis for restaurant spending. So if I assume that we get from 35% to 75%, I'm, like this 720 billion in retail sales uh, may go up by seven or 8%. Um, and that seven or 8%, you know, it's, um, So uh, around 50 billion in increased restaurant spending. So yeah, there's there's room there. Um, but when I look at uh, 
anyway, that's one view on it. Um, yeah, that's all I have. I was, uh, I did want to show just one other thing I thought might be interesting to the community and it's a map of restaurants. It's an interactive map. So right, if you're ever, uh, this is a, a Google map embedded into Tableau. This is safe graph visits data in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So if I click on a dot, it, upstate, it updates this uh, line chart across time over here, and then it gives me a Google map of the location. So if I'm ever researching a restaurant, you know, this is what it is right here. Anyway, um, yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Well, I, I love that uh, drill down feature that you have with the maps where you can actually choose the locations and then see it on the Google Maps and go from there. It's pretty cool. Um, I have a ton of questions for you because I think this is really cool stuff and you could do some really cool stuff with it. So first of all, um, I'm interested in that first graph that you showed where um, it was kind of the opposite of what you might expect, where the places that have less vaccinations actually have more people visiting, doing their visits. And so I guess my two questions kind of, or I guess maybe one question is, are their visit patterns any different than pre-COVID? Because one interpretation might be that the states that aren't getting vaccinated are also the states that just don't care about COVID as much. So they didn't change their behavior in the first place. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a, I think you're thinking along the lines I was thinking. Um, Cause right, this doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So, but I don't know, states down here, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Maine, Vermont. Yeah, like Alabama. I don't think uh, Alabama's lower on the vaccination. I no, let me check. Yeah, there's average visits for Alabama. They it kind of didn't change a whole lot in low vaccination. Yeah. Like Vermont, Vermont is up there on the vaccine. Yeah, they changed. Vermont changed a little bit. Curious about Utah. Changed a little bit. I I think you're right. That's yeah. interesting. And then and the, I guess a follow-up question to that would be, um, could is there a way for you to maybe take like the 2019 safe graph data and uh, correct for seasonality a little bit? Like Vermont, maybe as the weather gets nicer, people go to restaurants more or something like that, where Alabama, maybe it doesn't matter what time of year it is. Oh, I like, I like the idea of doing that. Yeah. I, um, submitting it for publication, I think I'd have to do that. I, I like it. Cool. And then I, there's just so much that like can be done with this. So I have a couple other questions still. So um, <clears throat> I'm not super well versed with Tableau, but in looking at Hawaii, for example, I think that was the one that I picked out that they had a really high vaccination rate and their change <clears throat> once you go from like January 2021 there to April, it the activity I believe goes up. It looks like it's going up, 
but when you had all of them shown together and even just here in the average visits, it doesn't really look like much. Is there a way that you could visualize this as a, a percent change against some baseline or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> This is the month over month change. Yeah, went down big uh, early parts of 2020, came up. And now it's starting to go up. If I do it relative to like the first, oh, what did I? It's not showing up as the first relative to like relative to December twenty twenty. Yeah, so in this case, since December 2020, visits are up 24% in Hawaii, uh, but they were 71% higher in January 2020. Okay, that's interesting, so, yeah. I get your point that, yeah. right, maybe there's more room than, there's more room to go, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I just had one last question. So <clears throat> if you wanted could you really break this down by um county level visit patterns and then run some sort of analysis to see uh so this county voted this percentage uh political affiliation or uh, whatever whatever other demographics to see how that plays in with the vaccination rates and what what role that plays there yeah i like that idea um when I started scraping for vaccination data by county, it, um, it didn't look very good. And I couldn't find someone that had good county level vaccination data. Um, yeah, it would take some effort to get that. Have you, have you seen anybody that has that by county? No, I haven't. I, you'd almost have to do like, the county's reaction to the entire state vaccination rates, but that can get kind of messy. Yeah, that's that's why I kind of, yeah, I let it go for now on the county level. Yeah. Well, it's, it's really cool. It's clear that there's a lot that can be done here. So with that, Thomas, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to share this work. Uh, for everybody else, we do have another webinar coming up on Tuesday titled The Impact of COVID-19 on Small Business Dynamics and Employment. If you haven't already, I encourage you to join the Place Key community where you can get access to the data that was used in this work, along with notifications of future seminars. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Thomas.